Hey there YouTubers, this is Don from True Cable coming back at you again with another piece of content. Uh, again, another tool. Uh, we just keep sending them out and releasing them uh, and there will be more to come. Uh, this is our True Impact uh, 110 or 66 depending on the blade you put in it, uh, impact punch down tool. And we do supply a 110 blade double ended with this guy. Uh, because that's the most common punch down that you find. This tool is used to punch down uh, punch down patch panels, and it's also used to punch down uh, punch down keystone jacks. So let's go over some of the features here. There is a cavity. All you have to do is open it, and the tool head will stow in that cavity, and you can put it in there, sharp end first, and then lock it, and it won't come out. Uh, for those of you who have um, tools that don't have this stowage here and you've had to leave the tool head in your tool how many times have you uh ended up jabbing it into your hand uh, i have to wave my hand here as being someone that's done that uh anyway it's a simple twist and lock mechanism it's not uh anything special in regards to uh proprietary so all you do is you put the tool head in here and then twist it till it snaps just like that and then one end has this sharp cutting edge uh, for flush cutting the conductor while seating it. And the other end uh, does not have that conductor flush cut. It just has the seater on there. So the, the punch down part, but not the actual uh, cutting part, so to speak. Um, so we'll put that back in there like this. Uh, another couple of items to talk about. Uh, we have a impact uh, setting here for low and high. Now, being this, this is a kinetic energy impact tool, if you set this for low, uh, the amount of force required to actuate the mechanism is lower. If you set it to high, it's higher. And so where do you use one for one and one for the other? Well, good question. Uh, low is used for 24 AWG, uh, or basically thinner conductors. And high is used for 23 AWG or, or thicker copper conductors. Uh, the general rule of thumb is if you're working with Cat 5E, use low. And if you're working with uh, category 6 or 6A, use high. Of course, there's variations to that rule, but generally speaking, that, that's, that's what you want to uh, work with. And um, there's a couple of additional items on this tool that will make your life a lot easier. One is it's got a spudger, which can serve as a small screwdriver. Uh, also, maybe as a little pry bar for whatever it is you you know might want to pry on. Uh, the next thing is this little hook. And this hook, I have to tell you, of the two tools here, I find the hook most useful. Because, uh, well, <clears throat> if you've ever accidentally punched down a jack wrong, and this is just an example that I cut off. Let me take off our cap here. Um, it's possible that you might have, you know, punched in a wire into the wrong slot. And I've done that before. I'm sure you have too. Uh, and so how do you get these wires out of here easily? Well, you could, you know, try going for a screwdriver and prying them out, but you could damage your keystone jack in the process. So that's never a good idea. What you want to do is get in here. Uh, this, and this of course works for patch panels too, but you want to get in here and lift these conductors out of there. And so the easiest way of doing that is to simply, well, lift them out. And this hook really lets you get in here and get these conductors out of there where you might have to manually, you know, yank them out. And there you go. A jack that's ready to re-terminate again. So that's what this hook is used for. And it's uh, something that I find very, very useful. So um, I think it probably will help you to see a keystone jack actually terminated and how this thing works. So let's go ahead and change angles here. Okay, so what we've got here is a Category 6 unshielded riser cable with a Category 6 punch down keystone jack. Again, unshielded, of course. Our 110 tool, and we're going to punch each individual slot, and there's eight of them. Uh, the idea being to punch down and then it'll flush cut the conductor at the same time. Because we're doing category six, I set the tool for high uh, impact force. Uh, and one thing that's going to help quite a bit is we do have what's known as a true puck. And what this uh, handheld piece of plastic basically is for is to allow you to stabilize your jack. You put your jack inside this little puck here 
and the cable will come through this hole. And the idea is so that you can hold it while punching it. Now, uh, people for the longest times have been bracing them on tables, walls, or, or oh, even like that. Um, and the possibility of damaging yourself or a wall is pretty high when you do that. So it's best off if you use some sort of handheld termination aid uh, if you don't have a good surface to work on. So basically what you do is you punch down each wire, uh, start with the stripes and then go to the solid. So we'll simply start right up here. And then once you get it all punched in, just check your work. Make sure all the conductors are fully seated and flush cut off. And the conductors are all fully seated and they have been flush cut off. Uh, basic, the simply uh, top it off with our little cap here and you're ready to go. And you can go ahead and plug this into a faceplate and away you go. Off to networking you are. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, please do feel free to leave us some comments down in the comment section. If uh, you would like to give us a thumbs up, please do that. Thumbs down, uh, please do that as well. Uh, and you have a great day. Happy networking.